This session is on local markets. My name is Paul Jaquit, owner of Eagle Enterprises Recycling Inc. in Galva, Illinois, which is located in Western Illinois. We are a collection and processing company of post-consumer, post-industrial recyclables. Um, we have 19 curbside recycling programs, 25 drop-off programs, uh, handle around 500 tons of recycling material a month. But we're talking today about local markets. And to start out with, we kind of want to define what local is. Local is, means different things to different people. If you're in a major metropolitan area, local may be only 15, 20, 25 miles radius around you. Out here in our rural areas, we would consider 50 mile radius anyhow, a, a still local. Um, even out somewhat beyond that, depending upon uh, different items that we're trying to find markets for. Uh, local uh, can be talked about as uh, maybe a market is local as, compo as compared to being um, overseas. Uh, it may be three hours away, 150 miles away. We might consider that to be a local market as opposed to having to ship it overseas to China. So local can mean different things to different people. But we're going to talk mostly in our local close to home type areas. Um, one of the things when look, looking for local markets is to know what your products, your items that you're trying to recycle or to move can be made into or what they're used for. Uh, sometimes more than traditional uh, uses can be, uh, you can find markets for in local areas. Take the newspaper for example. Newspaper, if we send it off to paper mills, is made back into paper. Um, or if we send it off to another mill, it may be made into insulation. Now if we're looking for a local, maybe a more local market, you may want to look at something like uh, finding a company, if you're trying to move newspaper, find a company that is wanting to be green, more sustainable. So if they're trying to find packaging for the product that they're shipping out, maybe they don't want to use styrofoam, even though styrofoam is very cheap. Maybe they want to be green. They could use something like shredded newsprint as packaging material, and then that could be recycled again, or it could be reused again. So you're helping somebody to be green. You're also having a market for newspaper, and it's also extending its life. Some other markets, uh, possible markets for newspaper, um, might be uh, mulch for growing plants. Uh, there was a company in central Illinois that would make uh, newspaper into a mulch for growing mushrooms. They also made it as a cover for new seeded, newly seeded yards. Um, just things that are out of the ordinary. And how do you find out about these kinds of things? Well, searching the internet as to what your items can be used for. Um, look for buyers of the products you're trying to sell. Search words such as buyers of recycled plastic, buyers for newspaper, uh, processors or brokers or other search words that could be used. Another way to find out uses for the products you're trying to market is attend trade shows, such as the Illinois Recycling Association's annual conference and trade show the first week of June, or other national conferences. Trade magazines and publications are very good sources also. Brokers. Uh, brokers specialize in moving materials, moving your products or moving uh, uh, recyclable materials and so uh, brokers can be a source of finding markets maybe not as much locally but also locally finding uses for them and then you can find maybe find somebody in your area that is looking for that same kind of product um, plastic some the traditional plastic that uh, we think of uh, in the early days of recycling milk jugs and pop bottles um, 
don't have too many uses for being reused, maybe not too many outlets in local markets unless you have a processor um, that is close by. But maybe some non-traditional type plastics, some things we don't think of all the time, uh, such as uh, water tanks or 55 gallon plastic barrels uh, can be reused as uh, uh, rain barrels, uh, becoming quite a thing now. Glass is another item that you might find a use for in a local market. This is an example of recycled glass. An artist uses recycled glass as his medium for uh, producing a product. And so he was looking for uh, glass that he could use in his artwork. Uh, other things, that, other glass items that you might be able to market locally, canning jars that may come into your facility or that, you, that people are wanting to recycle, to be resold to people who are just starting out trying to can. Uh, wine bottle trees is something that's becoming kind of popular. Different colored wine bottles. Or uh, in rare occasions, uh, municipalities may use ground glass, crushed glass, as a medium uh, for backfilling in water lines and sewer lines. And if you're working with compost, a local market for compost uh, would be people who are like landscapers, gardeners, homeowners, um, who are looking for that type of product. And that would really be a local market uh, as opposed to uh, uh, a, a national, you, it's just something that's a product you can't afford to ship very far unless you're uh, bagging it, packaging it, and then selling it through distribution centers. And most of the time, uh, if you are selling compost, you have to adhere to the Illinois EPA rules and regulations dealing with that. In conclusion, uh, local markets uh, can be a very good benefit. There's sometimes a, a small niche. Um, if you're a small recycler, small processor, then uh, uh, it's easier to work with local markets as opposed to maybe a big processor who's doing with working with um, several hundred or maybe a thousand tons of material a month. Uh, if you want to contact me directly, my email address is paulj at eerecycling.com.